Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Video Lead tutorial. In this Enlight Video Lead tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the chroma key here and a green screen. So, um, so let's get straight into it. So I'm just going to click the little plus button on the timeline here, and this brings up my um, the videos. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down the um, the videos, the stock images or the stock videos. What you can actually do is you can choose from photos or videos. So if you want like a still green screen as opposed to an animated green screen then you can do so by just selecting the videos tab or sorry the photos tab there you can also get um, a green screen from different locations as well as you can see from the top or you can search i'll show you how to do that in a minute so i'm just going to select this green screen here because it's big and it's easy to um it's not much animation goes on if i play through the only sort of animation you can see is the screens in the background that are moving slightly um so yeah i go back to the start of the timeline now what i want to do is i want to add another um, either image or video so in this instance it's going to be a video so I select the video that's already in the timeline it's important as well that you select your green screen first right and you can almost you can even use your own green screen of your own iPad screen Mac screen phone screen whatever it is all you need to do is just take an image as you can see here take a picture of your Mac iPad iPhone whatever it is you want a green screen your screen um, and then Photoshop, Pixelmator or any other good photo editing app and just add a green canvas over the top of the screen as you've seen here. So select the video in the timeline, you know it's selected by the white frame around the outside of it and then I'm going to click mixer from the toolbar at the bottom and then I'm going to click the little plus button to give us a um, to give us the the stock library again. Um, so now I'm just going to search for a video to put over the top of the green screen. I'll tell you what, I'm using iOS 14 at the moment. Let's see if Scribble works in the search, shall we? So I'm just going to type in running. Give me actually give me runnings, but that's okay. So let's try again because I didn't type any s so running and then search at the bottom you notice this is a new ios 14 thing as well you can add a bring the keyboard up if you want to use the keyboard instead of scribble but scribble worked nicely there didn't it and then you can auto minimize this little um toolbar here and i'm just going to click search anyway and it gives me lots of videos or photos of things animals people images all related with running so anyway it really doesn't matter what i use i'm just going to use this one here just yeah but no reason um and then what i'm now going to need to do is um chroma this so you can see the video through the green screen the way i do that is select the little teardrop um sort of grab handle here and it will select my green screen for me. What I need to do is click this little chroma um, button in the toolbar. And now what this is gonna ask me to do is select a color. You know, it's at the bottom, I've got the color picker selected or deselected, selected when it's pink and then um, gray when it's deselected. And then all I'm gonna do with a little target inside of the circle on the screen, I'm just gonna select green um, and you can see that because it's got it in the circle and that allows the image below it to show through. Now I can change, you notice I've got this little green lines around the edges, go to intensity and just increase the intensity a little bit. Now on some videos or some um, green screen images, when you try and increase the intensity or when you increase the intensity, it might take over the whole screen, but this one's um, quite good because it's got nothing else that resembles green in in there really um apart from obviously the plant but but yeah the video doesn't span over that far anyway so then the shadows just fills in the corners a little bit fills in the dark bits so that's um that's that now we can go back um and we can go back to this video we could actually play this through and you'll see this is the sort of effect that you get but what i actually want to happen here 
I want the video to seem as though it's moving on the screen as well. So I'm going to keyframe it. So with my video selected, white frame around it, remember, click, um, pinch and squeeze with your finger to see where you want. Let's, let's say I want it here like this, maybe. Yeah, let's have it like, sort of like this. Um, click the little diamond to keyframe it. Move along the timeline, not too much, just sort of here, but I don't want it moving too fast. And then I'm gonna bring the size down um, and just get it into the center of the screen, like so. And then if I play through that timeline, you will see that I've got this nice sort of animation of the video so you know you could really sort of um, fine tune this and get it to how you wanted but basically that's that i'm going to go to the end where the green screen finishes and i'm going to split the video remove the excess of the video now what i want to do i'm going to make it fade in and out the video i'm going to make it fade in and out so here i'm going to select my video i'm going to click opacity drag it all the way down move it up the timeline a little bit move the opacity up and then come to the end here um, i'm going to keyframe again move to the end of the timeline and um, reduce the opacity so now when we play this video through it'll fade in it will animate across the screen, uh, screen that we've chroma keyed it against and then fade out. So, um, so let's look at that. I hope this video has helped you out anyway. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to watch it at the end and you'll, um, you'll see the effect that we've got. So take care. I'll catch you all soon.